That's so corny. Like, you're corny. What's going on, guys? I said it. I said it in my last video. I'm saying it again. I'm not going to say, hey, guys. You know, I'm not going to do that. So, what's going on, guys? <sighs> Today, I was thinking about all the videos that I wanted to film, like, yesterday and the day before. And I kind of, like, made myself have to do this video because... Yesterday, I said I was going to do the story time all the time that I made this girl cry. What is new with me? I just make people cry. Apparently, my aura and my energy just says cry. So, that's what this video is going to be about today. Now, I should honestly just start wearing hats in my video because... My hair is just always going to be what distracts me the most in my videos, but whatever. And it's honestly like I have like hair dysphoria because when it's curly, I don't like it. When it's straight and down the middle, I don't like it. When it's curled to the side, I don't like it when it's in a bun. So whatever, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get in it today. So let's get started, shall we? This particular story like pisses me off more than anything just because number one i don't think anything is like look i guess it was you know my dad really instilled in us if you are not hurt or you know nothing like nobody died or anything like you don't really have a reason to cry now i understand that is a pretty toxic mentality to have when it comes to things because you know we're human we have emotions and things like that but just like the fakeness the fakeness that is this story so let's go back so when i was working at this salon and i'm gonna call this girl heather i don't remember her name i don't remember her real name so that could be her name i don't know whatever um so heather was a client of somebody else another stylist of the salon i am very much against doing anybody i won't as far as section your hair if you belong to somebody else not you know yeah because like the loyalty to the client whatever it's just not good business practice but for the simple fact that it's annoying when you take somebody else's client because because they're always gonna be like so and so does my hair like this well um she usually parts it like this and he usually does that and it's just like nobody wants to hear that when you're like it's like i'm not them so let me do your hair so that's one of the biggest reasons why i don't like taking anybody's clients like i really cannot stand it but this girl my manager had put her on because she had blonde hair it was a grown-out balayage and she wanted it to go darker she just wanted toned darker so my manager was like go ahead and do it blah 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 whatever whatever so i was just like okay fine i do it so i get the girl and i was like all right so what are we thinking about doing today and she was just like oh i just want to go darker like i really just want you to tone it to be like a darker color like i'm thinking about like more of a caramel brown you know kind of deal now if you're a hairstylist you know that the word caramel 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 that word is literally just like everybody's idea of that color is so so just all over the place that you're just like you never want to describe something as caramel you never want somebody to say caramel to you so of course i was just like let's see the pictures like let's see the pictures and so as we're scrolling through pinterest like looking at it she started going in because you know how pinterest kind of like suggests things like you'll start with one thing and it'll just keep suggesting so Pinterest was starting to suggest more of like auburny brown colors. So auburn being red, okay, a reddish brown. Now, whenever people start getting into those kind of colors, I always ask, do you want red with a hint of brown or do you want brown with a hint of red? She said, actually, I really like just like a brown with like a tint of red. I was just like, okay, cool. What do I do? I bring out the swatches. 
I show her, you know, what it is. This girl, so she has blonde hair, like blonde, blonde. There is no, there is no other color in it. It's blonde. So literally what you pick, I'm going to go to the back. I'm going to mix it and it's going to come out exactly like what is on the swatch because you have blonde hair and those swatches are on blonde hair. So she picks her color. She picks out a very brown caramel auburn color okay she picked it out so we go to the shampoo bowl i put the toner on her whatever and so then i'm telling her i'm like hey this is coming off more of like a brown it's not like the like that hints of red and copper aren't really coming through is that okay with you or do you want it to be like more of like a warmer tone so i take her out of the shampoo bowl i dry her hair a little bit so she could see what it's gonna look like and she was like actually yeah i want it to be a little bit darker with a little bit more of that warm tone to it so we go back to the shampoo bowl i put another toner on her okay i even showed her another swatch that she chose again that she chose to do like to fix it to make it a little bit more like warm so we come back to the chair right and i'm i'm thinking everything is great like you know i we the first time it didn't come out right we went back we fixed it you chose the swatches good to go like it is cool it's chilling while i'm doing this homegirl is so cool like me and her are talking she's like younger like She's like 25, 26, but we were just talking. We were really getting to know each other, blah, 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 blah. Like going all kinds, like, you know, talking. So she had mentioned that she worked at a cell phone store. I don't know if I should really even say it. Whatever, cool. Um, Like we, we were just talking about that, whatever, whatever. We were just having such a good conversation, so cool. Everything was perfectly fine. So I'm blow drying her hair and she starts feeling her hair a little bit. So I was just like, oh, like, is everything okay? Like, and she was just like, yeah, I was just worried because the first time it didn't come out right. But now, like, now I'm really liking it. Usually you can sense like the bull when they're in the chair because their face says it or how they're looking at it like somebody could be like yeah i really love it and they're looking at their hair like <laughs> you know but she was really just chilling like she was so fine with it so i wasn't worried about it i was like i even told her i remember i said that i was like well thank you for like you know being so patient with me like making sure we got the color right blah 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 blah, blah. so when we started i had asked to take a before picture and so when we were finished or whatever, she was like, yeah, it looks so good. I curled it and everything. She's like, did you want to take your after picture? And I was just like, sure. Like, I completely forgot about that. Let's go take the after picture. Yada, yada, yada. Cool, cool, cool. It is, you know, we're, we're straight chilling. So I was just chilling, really. Like, I thought everything was good. I thought everything was peachy. Like, we're good to go. So I like she gets her stuff. She's like, oh my God, thank you so much. I really like it. I really appreciate you taking your time. Blah, 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 blah. So the way that the salon was set up was like, once the person goes to the front, you can't see anything. Like it's just this big wall. So then she goes to the front. I check her, I take her to the front. I'm like, have a great day. It was so great meeting you, blah, blah, blah. I'm leaving. I left. I go clean up my station. I was getting my stuff together, like everything I thought everything was fine. No. So my manager comes to me and she was just like, hey, um, what happened? And I was like, what do you mean what happened? Like, I was so confused. I was like, what do you mean what happened? And she's like, she's crying. And I was like, what do you mean she's crying? Crying about what? She was like, she just said that you were really nice. Everything was like 
cool, but you turned her hair red. And I was just like, I know this girl did not just sit in my chair for this long, pick the swatches. Mind you, I still had the swatches at my station of the colors that she picked out. And the swatches, if you've ever seen swatches like in a salon, like they don't come like black, red, all like you have a variation like brown, red, 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 purples, like red purple the different swatches come with like five of each little subsection like in their little categories so i still had the swatches and i was just like girl like i literally these were the swatches i showed her this is what she picked from this is what she chose and she was like no she just started like bawling and she just like she said that you were great but you like you just turned her hair red and you know that's not what she wanted mind you her hair was not red like oh my god i'm just like we when i think of red i think of fire truck cherry you know i think of red red i'm gonna put it in the picture because her hair was not red like it was brown with a hint of red like it was a very warm tone brown like but to sit here and say, like, to sit here and leave crying, saying that I turned your hair red is a stretch. A big one. Does the story stop there? No, it doesn't. So I was just like, dang, like, you know, another one bites the dust. Like, when stuff like that happens, like, you really can't harp on it. You can't let that change your life. Like, oh, well, you didn't say it to me. So what do you want me to do about it? Like you said you loved it you were over here telling me to take after pictures and then you're just gonna go around the corner and start crying to my manager saying i turned your hair red like at that point like i don't even respect you enough to want to fix it or make things right with you like bye girl so like i said she worked at a cell phone store i don't know if i should but i really don't know i'm conflicted since I'm conflicted, I'm just not even going to say it. I'm going to bleep it out because I said it earlier. She works at a cell phone store that I have the cell phone carrier to the cell phone store that she worked at. So let's just say Boost Mobile because I don't have Boost Mobile and I don't know nobody that works at Boost Mobile. So I go to Boost Mobile because I needed a new phone. That was when the iPhone 10 Max, whatever it's called, that's when it came out. So I was like, I need a new phone, like, cool, 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 cool. I know how cell phone, like, things work, right? You get a commission off of, um, you get a commission off of the things that you sell, the phones, all this other stuff, you know, like, everybody knows how that works, right? So I go to Boost Mobile, and I'm just waiting there, and this girl approaches me. And she was like, hey, how can I help you today? Blah, 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 blah. Now, she is looking at me as if, like, you know when somebody's, like, staring at you hard because it's like, I've seen you before, I know you. Or she was looking at me like she knew me or that she's seen me before. I'm really bad. Like, I'm really bad with names and I'm really bad with just like remembering people. So if I don't see you regularly or I haven't seen you enough, like I will forget about you. I'll forget everything about you, honestly. So I was um I was just talking to her regular. I was like, yes, um, I need a new phone. I still have to pay off the other one, blah, 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 blah. So I'm asking her all these questions about like, how can I pay off my other phone so I can get this phone? And we're talking like, I'm talking about intimately speaking with one another because you know, you gotta get the information or whatever. And I was just like, yeah, I really want this phone, blah, blah, blah. And so she's talking to me and she's telling me like, cause I think I was just gonna go with the regular 10, but she was like, oh, you should get this one and you should up the gigabytes. She's talking to me like, because she was like, oh, what do you do? And I was just like, oh, I'm a hairstylist, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh yeah, you need to up your gigabytes because you know, if you're taking a lot of pictures or you're communicating with a lot of people, blah, blah, blah. She's talking to me like she does not know me, okay? Telling me I should up the gigabytes, blah, blah, blah. And so then she was like, um, 
are you going to get a cell phone case and i always get a cell phone case so i just picked like or i i always get my cell phone cases at five below they they have good cell phone cases um but i always get those and she was just like no like i would highly recommend because it's made out of glass i recommend that you get the life proof case blah 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 so i was like you know what forget it like i'm already paying this much for this phone i might as well put a life proof on it so i was like all right i'll get a life proof and so i mean she was doing it right i'll give it to her she was doing it right like i had money to spend and she was selling me all kinds of stuff so then she was like oh um and i'll let you know that like iphones like they're going to cordless charging or whatever and i was like oh so i had to get like a like the little pads to charge your phone i was like i have to get one of those and she was like we highly recommend it because like you know iphone is changing up so much and like the battery life will last longer if you get a a cordless battery charger i'm dumb that was me being an idiot because i thought she was saying that they no longer char like bring chargers with the phone that's me being stupid i'll give myself that one that was me being an idiot so I was just like, okay, throw it in there. So mind you, I bought a new iPhone. I paid off my other one. I uh, bought a life proof case and I bought a freaking um, cordless charger thing. And I have insurance on my phone. So I'm just like, you know, I'm balling out at this Boost Mobile store. So I was just like, and she, you know, she's racking up them coins. Cause I know my friend uh, works at AT&T. Like I know how much you make off these little commissions. Like I know you make bank. You just made bank off of me, girl. So whatever, not like I care. That's your job. Like you should be getting this much money, whatever, which is kind of whatever. Well, I'll get to that. But whatever, like I don't care about that stuff. I really don't care about people making commission off me. Like how some people get really upset about that. But whatever i leave the boost mobile store i'm so happy i have my new phone i have all these little gadgets and gizmos like i'm just so hype or whatever so my dad needed to go to the boost mobile store um like a couple days later and i forgot what my dad needed but we ended up going to the boost mobile store together I had completely forgot that I had went to um, school with a guy that worked at Boost Mobile and I saw him that day and I was like, yo, like if I would have known that like you worked here, I would have asked for you or I would have came a day that you came because I was like, yeah, like I racked up on a whole bunch of stuff. And he was like, yeah, I know. Heather um told me that she knew you and she made like a really big commission off of you and I was just like oh word like okay like where did Heather know me from and he was being messy boots but he was just like yeah she was like Jesus there is a huge lizard anyway sorry that caught my eye but he was like, yeah, she told me, like, she told me that you messed up her hair and that it was funny that she basically got her money back by the commission that you gave her. And I was just like, what? And he was like, yeah, I don't remember. She just told me that you made her cry and you turned her hair red. And I was just like, that was you like that was her i was like that's crazy and he was like yeah she she was like really like she was basically telling us that like you messed up her hair and that you turned her hair red but it didn't matter because she didn't need a refund because all the commission that you gave her that day like she got it all back and she was just like kind of making fun of me for that and i'm just like Give me one good reason why I shouldn't go to your manager and like air you out right here and there the way you try to air me out to my manager trying to cry. And I just looked at my dad and I told my dad, I was like, I should really cause a scene in here and start crying and start going crazy up in the store. Because number one, that's extremely unprofessional. And number two, like, don't ever think you got me like, that's what we're doing now that's what we're doing you're gonna talk if you're gonna talk bad about the way i do hair or whatever it is your experience with me that's one thing but to sit here and tell people like 
you're sad you're sitting here telling people how much of a commission that i gave you and like to me that sounds so stupid that you're you're trying to make fun of me for spending so much money on something that you get a commission off of that's so corny like you're corny and I was just like, I told my dad that I was like, I should get a manager out here. I should make a scene. Like, and if anybody knows my dad, he's so down for making scenes. That's another, I was going to make another story time about that. <laughs> but my dad was just like, you know what? You can't even worry about it. Like, you can't even worry about people like that. And I was just like, you know what? You're right. Because karma is going to get you. You got the commission off of me after, you know, whatever talking bad about me saying all this other stuff like whatever i hope the next two weeks after me nobody bought a phone so you're gonna have to make that commission i gave you stretch but anyway yeah that was the time that this rude unprofessional boost mobile worker she didn't work at boost mobile this girl cried and then i bought a phone from her and apparently I paid her back with the damages and the distress that she apparently endured while sitting in my chair. When I tell you people are crazy, like, and I'm not even saying like crazy cuckoo. It's just like the fact that you even remember, well, I guess I would remember that too. But the fact that you would sit here and just do that, like, I don't know. That was just too much for me. But yeah. That was that story time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great, amazing day. I'm going to wrap this up because my neighbor is just staring at me. And me and her already have issues with each other. So let me just close this window. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.